Hello everybody, uh, I think it's a kind of good time to introduce myself. My name is Alexander Grinchuk, but everyone calls me Grinya. Um, I've been drifting since 2007. I used to be a drift pilot, I used to be a Red Bull athlete for 10 years, I used to be a drift judge, a drift commentator and YouTuber. Uh, anyway, uh, this is kind of my debut in English uh, and I would like to show you what I was doing for the last five years on YouTube in the other language so enjoy the ride this is Formula Drift Atlanta paddock and I got some interviews from one of the best drivers in the world Chris Forsberg here. Yes, sir. Hi. How Hello. are you doing? Good. How are you? Uh, good. Good. So um, I'm trying to be like next to all your new cars, mm -hmm. and this is New Z, yes, and sir. this is the second season, and uh, well, it seems that uh, it's still a new platform, right? Uh, yeah, technically it's a new platform. It's only our tenth event with it. Uh, we were able to put it into the finals last year on a second round uh, outing here at Road Atlanta. So I know that it's a very capable car. Uh, okay, and uh, is there a big difference between 370Z and the new Z? The, the all-new Z is very similar in the, in the overall chassis and suspension of the uh, 370Z. However, there are like 70% new part numbers on the new Z, so there are a lot of differences. Uh, small subtle ones outside of the, uh, you know, what you see as the exterior, uh, the interior, the drivetrain. But uh, outside of that, yeah, a lot of the rest of the, um, the package is uh, retained. And so you do have a lot of familiarity between the two chassis. Great. Okay. And uh, there's a huge race going on right now. So three triple champions in the race. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. the competition. How do you feel about that? Uh, yeah, it's uh, probably the biggest, uh, you know, competitive series that there is right now based on, you know, who's here, how many entries are here, uh, you know, the track quality. And it's just, uh, you know, top tier drifting here. Uh. Okay then, so good luck here at the track yeah. and we're watching you, thanks. Thank you, have a good one. So, Juan Gideon Jr., it's so great to have you back at the track, so, you know, you. Formula Drift lost something while you were out. Oh, <laughs> yeah, kind that, of a aggressive, aggressive style, which is, you know, all time long, everybody's waiting for you at the track. Uh, so, this year is kind of car sharing year, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Together with Adam LZ. Yep. Um, it, does it affect the driving? Because first round, Adam had some fun with this car, right? Yeah, we we had a little little work to do after round one. I think all the guys had had fun with these new Mustangs in Long Beach. Um, but you know, for me, it's a perfect case scenario for me that I'm able to come in for a few rounds. Like for me right now, my most valuable thing is time, right? My yes. family, business. I've really been enjoying racing off road but I love drifting. <laughs> and so the opportunity for me and Adam to share a car is perfect because I can, you know, do four rounds and also not have the pressure of a championship mm -hmm. and just show up and drive hard and have fun and, you know, one battle at a time. And, um, you know, so yesterday was my first time back in a pro mm -hmm. car. And obviously, you know, these are pretty much brand new cars that, um, you know, a team has been developing and they're just, unbelievable to drive <laughs> so different than you know just in 2021 so yeah, it's two years before right? yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Such a, uh, okay but do you do a lot of the um, things to change when when Adam uses the car and after then you use it yeah it's more just setup changes um, seat position we change the seat for Adam um, there's just some adjustments in a wheel and more seating yeah, position yeah. but as far as chassis we'll show up with basically the same car set up out of the box mm -hmm. and then we will evolve the car for our driving style um you know i i know what i need what i like but my team knows what we need based <laughs> on all the data so it's always a, a compromise on that and then same with adam um you know at but you know adam is still kind of you know a, learning what it is that he needs out of these cars so um you know it's just suspension changes for each driver based on the way they drive Great, but uh, 
getting back to the um, sh uh, car sharing and getting not all championship this year, you could be another three-time champion, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't really count those things. You know, I've, I mean, I look, I love winning championships, and um, but you know, they're more for my team, our partners. You know, once you, you know, I, I won one, and I'm just like, okay, I did that. Winning two was like unbelievable, and so. You know, maybe one day I'll come back for another full season. I don't, I don't know about that, but uh, for me, it's not about the number of trophies or championships. For me, it's about finding the fun and doing the absolute best that I can in any moment, and that that goes across my entire life. So um, I'm here to do that. I'm, I'm like feeling the love from everybody. Like I'm so excited to be back, but the fact that you and others yes. are excited to see me back. You know, I don't think like that, but when you give me that energy and that love, I'm grateful. So thank you for that. Oh, thank you. And we're, we're really in need of such people like you in drifting. And that makes sport grow. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, have a good time at the track, man. That's the plan, man. Thank you. Have fun, you guys. Yeah. Woo! One get in junior. Uh, Matt Field. Uh, and you are the championship leader right now, right? Yep, I am. <laughs> and winning the first event, yeah, it's... Uh, uh, comparing to the last year, it's a kind of relief, no? Got it out of the way early. Got a win, now we can focus on more wins. Oh. All right, but uh, do you feel the target on your back? I feel like I've felt the target on my back the last couple of years, so n no difference. Um, but I think most of these guys, we all feel the same way because we all want to beat everyone, and everyone is such a phenomenal driver that it's hard not to have a target on your back. Doesn't matter who you are. Yeah, sure. And the last question: Is it going to be another pinata year? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll we'll have to see. Uh, the car's a lot faster this year, so maybe that'll give us a little bit more speed to stay away from everyone. But you never know. Great. Good luck at the track, and we're watching you. Hell yeah! Thank you guys. Thank you. And I'm really happy to be next to this person, Ryan Lantain. How are you doing? I'm doing well. It's, happy. it's good to see you here. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, thank you for the invitation, first of all. And second thing is, I really need to know what you think about the new thing in Formula G this year, X Factor. Well, this is, uh, I thought it was a show or something, but <laughs> what has happened to Formula G? <laughs> why, why it <laughs> comes to X Factor show? Yeah, we, we didn't, uh, I guess, know what to name it exactly. At first, we wanted to have something that showed um, people or let people know what it is we were referring to. X Factor is that, that little bit of something that makes someone special or makes something special. It makes it a little bit above and beyond <laughs> the average. Like, and wow. When yeah, you, When wow. you want to say wow. Exactly. So when we're talking about X Factor, it's completely disconnected from line angle and style. It's something by itself <laughs> on the outside. And not commitment, not uh, fluidity. <laughs> no, exactly. So this is this is uh, heavy throttle usage. Yeah, it's it's exactly. being committed throughout the entire course. Sure, you're using your momentum and using your throttle, using the 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 motion of the vehicle to fill the zones. Mm -hmm. Being committed uh, is a big part of it. No hesitation is another part of it. So the best way I explained it yesterday in the driver briefing, I think, was talking about Ryan Turk's run from Long, Long Beach, Beach. Right. Right. He yeah. was very committed on throttle. He was White very committed everywhere. with the angle as well. Mm -hmm. And there was zero hesitation. <laughs> and that's when you combine all of that together, it makes the X factor really shine. And that's what we're going for. So we explained it in the briefing again yesterday to the drivers. It's you can do a 90 point run, which previously would have been a 100 point run. Very, We've seen these very safe runs, but that are very technically perfect, right? But boring. But boring. <laughs> You're putting the car where it needs to be. You've got your rotations there, but they're not anything more than they need to be. Um, you're not really pushing above and beyond. It's, mm -hmm. it's just the bare minimum to get a good score. And we've seen those before and we had to give them high scores. But now that score, if it used to score 98, now it'll score maybe an 87, somewhere around there, 88 maybe. And then you can add in your X Factor points. So if you do that extra, you can get up to the high 90s or close to 100. We haven't had 100 yet, of course, but we've, we've gotten pretty close. Yeah, interesting fact about Formula Drift, it never stops experimenting, yeah, experiments. Yeah. And at the same point, this is the, well, as for me, this is kind of uh, back to roots, when it was points for smoke, because no, oh, right. no one knew how to evaluate the, you know, the, the energy which can be uh, uh, yeah. got from drift. <laughs> so, sure. yeah, well, it's cool. Well, and it's understandable. <laughs> no. yeah, hopefully you see exactly what it, how it's going to work in, in pro practice mm -hmm. or qualifying, sorry, that's qualifying, coming up yeah. soon. Um, looking at 
how those drivers make it look dangerous and make when they make it look like they're going to go off the track they make it look like they're mm -hmm. not going to be able to stay on the surface of, uh, of the track itself but they manage to stay and they're accurate and they're quick and their transitions are amazing that's when you're going to see the high scores just like Ryan Turk and Long Beach all right so we're looking forward to it yeah. thank you thank you for such a uh, well clear understanding what what's going on thanks and well Good judging to you. <laughs> Thank you very much. And that would be all for today. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get my hands on James Dean and Frederick Asbo. But we will do it next time, I guess. I will really appreciate if you push that uh, like button, subscribe and share this video with your friends or somewhere on social media. I really need this, guys. So anyway, uh, it was Alexander Grinia Grinchuk and see you in other videos here at the channel one more time. See ya.